an uncorrected proof of the very first James Bond novel could sell for up to £50,000 at an upcoming auction. The exceedingly rare copy of Ian Fleming's Casino Royale is believed to be one of under 25 in the world. It is just one of nearly 200 James Bond-related items that are due to be sold at Sotheby's this month. Among the other memorabilia up for sale is a film poster for the first Bond movie drive. No from 1962 expected to get £20,000 to £30,000. Furthermore, the auction will include a 1964 Aston Martin DB5 which is estimated to go for £550,000. Read more. Princess Diana's iconic black sheep jumper fetches eye-watering price at auction, latest, over 50% of the Sotheby's auction hall were donated by world expert on everything Bond, John Gilbert. The official Fleming biographer works as a rare book dealer and has written 10 books on the famous author. Around half of the items in Sotheby's Hall were donated by the world expert on Bond and official Fleming biographer, John Gilbert. Don't miss! TSB Boost's account with up to £222 worth of discounts Yorkshire Building Society increases perks on 5% rainy day saver accounts Secure Trust Bank increases interest on fixed ESA to excellent 5. 6% according to Sotheby's cataloger Fenelith Ace, who oversees the online auction, she is looking forward to selling Fleming's heavily annotated Thunderball screenplay. In 1960, Fleming asked writer Kevin McClory to help him come up with a Bond film, and together the pair came up with Thunderball. Miss Ace cited that the relationship broke down and the author turned the screenplay into a novel. Mr. McClory launched a high court battle against the writer but Fleming had a heart attack during the trial so the dispute was settled out of court. Due to this legal battle, the screenplay was pulled and drive. No replaced Thunderball as the first Bond film, according to Miss Ace. She explained, there is a lot of debate about who stole what. Ian Fleming had his fatal heart attack because of the hoo-ha. To have these rare screenplays from the horse's mouth, from the family, is very rare and quite exciting. We're holding it, the auction, because this year is the 70th anniversary of the first ever James Bond book, so we're celebrating the first time James Bond entered the world. This is the most comprehensive collection of Ian Fleming material to come to auction, and to even have in one place.